When I have a scheduling problem and I try to use a quartz cron schedule, I now have two problems. Thankfully, among the new materialized view updates in Databricks, I can now use this new syntax to make something run for simplified refreshes. Here's three more new things that you might have missed. One, you can now see the performance in the query history UI. Now it's a lot easier to understand any drops in performance, especially if they're sporadic and are difficult to recreate. This can be accessed from the left-hand menu and filter on compute as a DLT and statement as refresh. Another update to materialize views and to streaming tables is the new support for filters and column masks. For row filtering, create a function like you would on any other table based on group membership and add the keywords with row filter to the creation statement. And for column masking, define the function and then apply it in the creation step after the defining column. And finally, if you want your materialized view to use a feature that's in a public preview, you now can by updating the table properties for the channel to be preview. To see some examples of how to use these, check out the notebook link below. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot in data and AI, follow for more.